I have had a long history of dyeing my hair and then a couple years back I went au naturel and I just let the dye grow out but the color I had at the time kind of matched my natural hair a lot more than it does now. This time I don't feel like waiting, I am feeling impatient so cross fingers this works I'm going to try the colorless hair color remover, it simply washes away the color. Hopefully I don't kill my hair and it all falls off. Okay, warning, I do not have a script. I am just winging this. I, again, I'm impatient with my hair color. I'm impatient with the fact I just want to do it now and I don't want to have to sit down and plan everything. So, my hair actually kind of looks nice today. <laughs> but I, uh, I've been through a bit of a, a big few months with various colors and I'll put up the colors changes I've had in the last five months or so. Okay, so as you can see, my hair has taken a bit of a beating. I had natural hair for a long time, for a couple, well, a long time, a couple of years of my life recently, and I just went, I need a change! Because <laughs> that's what I do, but usually it used to be a lot more. But now I want to go back to my natural mousy brown hair color. And unfortunately, unlike the last time I did it, I've used reds and dark browns and it's just gonna struggle and it's gonna look crap as it grows out. There's just, there's just no doing it. So I don't feel like, you know, using full bleach, although I've never used this before, so no bleach or ammonia. So this is plan B, I guess, because I could bleach and then I could, you know, tone and, and change it slowly but I thought I'd give this a go. It calls it safe and gentle and removes black, brown and red and build up which I feel like just about covers all of the different shades I've got going in my hair at the moment. I just filmed another video just in case this absolutely destroys my hair and I come out looking like a Barbie doll that was owned by a four year old who found a pair of scissors. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'll just see if I can do a bit of a... Probably looks really red under this light, I don't know. Shadows! That's, ter that's terrible, that's a terrible light. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I came out to get some natural light so we can see not too much light. <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> there we go. See, I don't mind the color, that's not it. I just, I'm ready to go back to normal and for some hair health. <sighs> okay, it is in. Here's what you get in the box. And here's some instructions. I followed the instructions, including putting cling wrap on my hair. Not gonna lie, it makes me a little nervous. In all my couple of decades, I have ruined my hair once with bleach because I was a busy mother rushing around. I bleached my hair and I put it up in a bun and pretty much anything in the bun burnt off and left me with the top layer of my hair being this short for a little while. So we'll see how that goes. Cross fingers, I don't come out of this bald. <laughs> okay. It has been just under 45 minutes. Oh, that looks kind of orangey. Actually, it looks kind of blondy. Definitely looks lighter. But maybe I can end up adding a mousy to brown town. <laughs> it definitely looks lighter, but. I'll have to wash it out and see what it looks like and maybe I might end up being able to add like a mousy brownish dye to get back to where I need it to be. Ta-da! 
Okay, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go. And you can probably see it's some of these wispy bits now. See that? But it definitely has lightened it. It's kind of gone, looks really bright in there, but oh, that's better. It's kind of done a strawberry blonde thing, which is uh, super cute. Except for the time I like bleached my hair off and snapped it and stuff. I seem to have a pretty good track record with winging it and then things just turn it kind of turning out. Obviously I use this with the intention it would lighten it, but I really didn't know how it would go, but I'm happy with this. So obviously you can see the roots are still, are still there because they didn't need to be stripped back. And I, I think, I think I'm going to keep this for a little bit until the roots grow back enough that it like annoys me. And then I'll probably put like a really light brown in so that my natural hair and the dyed hair can just be happy while it grows out. Yeah. It's cute, bud. It's cute. Oh, dog. Oh, no. So on the instructions, there was like um, the C bottle was where you'd generally use a conditioner. So I don't know what was in it. I'm not sure what it was. It felt really, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It didn't feel nice in the hair. Um, kind of rubbery. I don't know. It's a really weird word for it, but it, it just, it felt horrible to touch. So then I used some previous conditioner, some hair dye conditioner which actually feels pretty nice now, so. But it also said, oh, bottle D, put this in for maximum conditioning. There was no bottle D, so. But would I use this colorless hair thing remover? Yeah, I would. And it doesn't quite feel as um, disastrous as bleach. I shouldn't say disastrous. If you, if you use bleach properly, it's fine but you've got to manage it with how much you've been dyeing your hair and the like. So look, I can't stop playing with it. It's cute, I like it. I'd, I'd still use bleach, like I'm, bleach is my jam. Bleach is how I get to the color I need it to when I want to have blue hair, orange hair, purple hair, green hair, red hair, pink hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you need to, I would use it because now it's uh, allowed me to give this a little bit of time before I put a, a light brown dye on it and uh, it's done exactly what I wanted it to. <laughs> life short, don't forget to be, <laughs> life short, don't be afraid to be who you are. Thanks for watching.